Hey guys, Coach Hutchinson here with the newest episode of the HLX 360 Coaching Series. Uh, we're going to bring you guys a new fundamental stick work drill that you guys can do with every member of your team. All right, but the way that we're going to show this is uh, from an offensive viewpoint. So uh, without further ado, we're going to call this Robbie Stick Work. All right, it, it's a great drill where you can start practice off. You can get a ton of reps with it. It's not just a drill that you're just going out there to get touches, but it's a great way for you to kind of work on mastering your fundamentals. All right, and that's our first bullet point. All right, this is a great drill to do from a youth level all the way up through the college level. We still do it uh, almost daily with our guys. All right, we really want to focus on our handwork and our footwork. All right, when we're transferring these ball, the passes, we want to make sure that our hands are free so that we can make a clean transfer. All right, we also want to make sure that we have really good footwork here. So if our feet stop, probably not going to be a great pass. All right, we want to make sure that we're going to where we're throwing the ball to. All right, it's also a communication drill. All right, so. Because we might call Robbie doesn't mean that you guys have to. So whatever turn that you guys use in your offense or in your program, this is a great time to execute this uh, and incorporate that in there. All right? And then also everything matters. All right. So, you know, your hands and your feet are moving together. That's important. You also want to make eye contact with who you're throwing the ball to. All right. And just because this is a simple transfer pass doesn't mean that it's not important. All right. So when you guys continually do this with your team, it shows that you guys are focusing on some uh, of the fundamental concepts of lacrosse. All right, how the drill is going to work. All right, we have both a midfield line and an attack line. All right, and you can see we have three guys. Four guys is probably the most that I would do in a line. And if you have more than that, again, you can add lines kind of all over the field, and you guys will see how we did that here in a second. All right, number one is going to start with the ball in both sides. All right. This guy might dodge, you know, left-handed to start. So his lead shoulder is going to be pointed, you know, kind of up the field. So it be his right, right shoulder. All right. He's going to get a call from number two. All right. So when number two gives him the communication of, hey, Robbie here, Robbie here, Robbie here. All right. He's probably going to use his name. So that when he gets to that point, he's going to sit down and be really athletic. All right. Get his feet moving, punch his hands to the sideline, and continue to roll back. All right. And then make that pass to number two. All right, now number two wants to receive this in a triple threat position so that he can dodge, he can shoot, or he can feed. All right, we're going to have number two go right through the exact same thing. So number one, after he passes, he wants to make sure that his momentum is taking him back behind number three right now. All right, number two will go through that same progression, get the communication, all right, and throw the ball here to number three. Same thing from the midfield perspective, and I'll just show this from a right-hand perspective now. All right, so this guy's dodging right-handed. He might get five to seven yards in front of where the line started, get the communication from number two that he's, it's time to roll back. So he rolls back, gets that pass off. All right, two goes through that same progression and so on. This is a good thing to do for about 90 seconds with each hand. Each guy will get a ton of reps and you guys will, will get your stick work touches for the day. Pay attention to the player's footwork and handwork here as he steps away, punches a stick to the outside, and gets his hips and shoulders around to deliver a good pass. Okay. 